Welcome to Make the Grade with the success doctor, Stephen Green, where you'll discover actionable strategies to help your student to reach their academic goals, to excel at standardized testing, and to plan for the college admissions process painlessly. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Green. Steve Green here, the success doctor. How you doing? Welcome back. Today's all about planning ahead. This episode of the podcast is about planning ahead because it's important. And I think it's particularly important right now, like this period of time, this unique, uh, just uh, challenging time we are in. And if you're listening to this in like 2034, and you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, we were in the middle of this COVID uh, pandemic and it is wreaking havoc all over the place. And one of those places is schools. Big debate right now. Do we send kids back to school in September and August or do we not? Is it safe? Kids going to get infected. Are they going to carry it? Are the teachers going to get infected? The administrators. So a lot of schools are modifying what they're doing. Hybrid learning, half virtual, half live, split shifts, talking to a parent today. Just got an email from the school. What they're going to do is they're dividing kids up by last uh, first name, first letter of their last name. Whew. Yeah, try saying that three times. Uh, A to L goes Monday and Wednesday. M to Z goes Tuesday and Thursday. Interesting. Uh, on the two days they're not in school, they are in virtual school. They call them this hybrid learning. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't think it's going to work. Well, maybe. I don't think it's a lock. I'm not a betting person. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I just don't feel it, to be honest. But, but today is about planning ahead. Today is about, and I talked about this a couple weeks ago, your contingency. We know it's coming. Here's the difference. March, April, it came out of left field. One day, regular life as usual, going to school, getting on the school bus, driving to school, whatever you do, getting there, doing school, coming home, going to basketball or wrestling or swimming or clubs or whatever you do. Come home, do homework, just another day at the office, except it's at school. Bang. Over the course of three days, shut down, done. Can't see your friends. Nobody knows what's going on. Complete confusion in terms of the classrooms and instruction. And frankly, and maybe this is a little bit controversial, I'm going to say it anyway, I don't think the school's really completely recovered. Uh, I, I, and I say that from working with students, doing my tutoring. I was seeing some really lightweight uh, education going on. Students basically come to me and say, I need help. Great. What are you learning? I don't even know, they would say. Teacher said to watch a video and then do a worksheet. Anyway, here's the difference. We got five months now to plan. Six months, maybe. There needs to be a plan in place. So the schools have to have a plan. The teachers have to have a plan, of course. And I suspect they do. But let's not forget. Families, parents, students, we need to have a plan as well. Okay? What's your plan? What are you going to do if, if the virtual's there and you're just not strong at virtual? Or you can't pay attention. You can't sit, stare at a computer for six hours. What if you just don't feel safe and comfortable going into school? And you have, you're anxious that uh, you may get sick in school, so you can't focus. You got to plan ahead. This, this is not going to blindside anybody. We just don't have that excuse right now. So let's talk about what you can do to plan. First of all, make sure you got your technology in place. I talk a lot about the structures you need to have. Technology is one of them. If you're going to be online, by definition, you're using technology. Maybe you got to upgrade your Wi-Fi. Maybe you got to upgrade your hardware. Sure, it's an expense. You got to rely on it, though. It's, it's a cost of doing business, as they say in the business world. It's a cost of doing education. If you have an old beat-up phone or a 
Chromebook that's four years old and the hinges are falling off, probably not going to make it through nine months of virtual education with any level of quality. Maybe you got to get a better desk. You know, I mean, it's not great to do homework sitting on your bed. You know, some people do, they like it. And I'm not saying it can't happen, but not six hours a day. You got to set up a structure. It's another one of my important things, a physical structure. Where are you going to work? What's it look like? Is it well lit? Is it flat? Do you have space to get your books and your notebooks and your computers out? Just things you don't really think about until you need to know. But then sometimes you don't have time to prepare. I was growing up, I had to share a study space with my brother and sister. And it was like a race. <laughs> After dinner, we'd hustle up to this room and spread our books out. My sister would get mad because she was always the last one to come up there. Mom, you did it, you did it, took all the space. <laughs> Truth was, we did. She was right. My mom said, shut up, do your homework. But, you know, we, we had a limited space, a little house, a you know, big family. So we needed a physical conditioning to make our work work. But back then, we didn't have computers, we didn't have calculators. And I grew up in the Stone Age. <laughs> but again, let's get back to planning. So what's your plan for your tech? Think about it. What's your plan for your physical structure? What's your schedule? Do you have to make your own schedule? Is schedule going to be dictated for you? It's going to have to make your own schedule. You got to think about it. You got to plan ahead. When are you going to be doing school? Nine to three, eight to two, eight to four. Plan it out. Accountability. Who is going to keep you accountable? Parents, you're going to keep your kids accountable. You have time for that. You got to work, take care of a house, cook, shop, clean. Kids, you're going to want your parents keeping you accountable. It's their jobs, their right. Absolutely. If you're older, you're in high school, it should be your job anyway. Younger kids, sure, you need support. Support. Let's talk about support. Where are you going to get it? Plan ahead. Don't wait till you are got a big hole dug academically to try to find somebody to help you. Okay? This is all about the planning. What made me think of this today? And maybe I should have started this discussion with this because I'm getting phone calls. I'm getting emails every day, multiple, because a lot of schools are starting to talk about ideas. This may be what we're going to do. This looks like what we're going to do. Parents are starting to get concerned. I don't think it's going to work for me. I don't know if my kid can handle it. I, I don't know if we're going to learn anything. I don't want to waste a year. I don't want to waste a month. And the key is you got to plan. So it is right now, July. This podcast will post late July, 2020. School doesn't start for three to five, six weeks, depending on where you are. You got time to plan. Use it. Take advantage of it. It's not like a horrible effort. This is an investment in your education. It's an investment in what you're going to do. Investment in your success. And you know, I talk about success a lot. Steve Green, the Make the Great Podcast providing actions you can take to maximize your education for yourself and your family. Talking about planning ahead, plan your physical structure, plan your technology, plan your timing, plan your accountability, and plan where you're going to get support. You know, I, I, I keep plugging the Make the Great Success community because it is helping a lot of people. 24-7 access, post up questions, get them answered, live support a couple times a week, got questions, get them answered. Key to success in school, partly, don't get behind. You never get behind so much easier. I see kids all the time. They come to me, I got to learn a whole chapter of math in an hour. Test is tomorrow. What were you doing the last week and a half, two weeks? I just didn't understand it. Why'd you wait till now? Oh, I thought I could figure it out. Don't do that. Be smart. It's all about planning. But plan because it's going to make a difference. Start a phone. Sorry about that. See, this is a live thing here. My phone's ringing. I'm working in a real office here. Students today. I wish I knew how to silence this darn phone, but I can't. Anyway, 
Um, I'm going to wrap this up here. Steve Green, the Make the Great Podcast. Here's what my message is, my hope for today. Plan ahead while you have time. Get what you need in place over the next two, three weeks before school starts. So when things come into place and need to be dealt with, you're ready to deal with them. Doesn't have to be a big chore. Think of it as something that's going to help you or help your family, help your child, help your children to be successful. Hey, one more little story. I always liked school. I always look forward to the first day back to school. Oh my, what do you even go back to school for? My friends would say, "Boring, stinks." I'd rather just play baseball. I used to go every night play baseball at this lot down the street from where we all grew up. I like to learn. It was kind of uncool to even admit that, you know, because ah, it's done, it's done, kind of weird. But uh, I did. I'm not afraid to admit it. Um, and I used to love. I used to sit there, get my notebooks together, get them all stacked up my pencils, backpack of everything in order. I packed up really nicely for that first day of school. Dressed up, brand new pair of sneaks. I used to get one pair a year right for the first day of school. I used to wear them the whole year. One pair of sneaks, one pair of shoes. Last me a whole year. <laughs> yeah. Box of pencils had to last the whole year. But the point was I looked forward to it. It was an excitement to it. It was a newness to it, a freshness or new start. What you need to do this year, in this unusual year, is plan ahead so you get that same positive energy, even though there's going to be some challenges, or could be. That's all I got for today. Steve Green, the Make the Great Podcast. Hoping you're enjoying what you're hearing. Please comment. Let me know what you think. Share this. I really believe the more people to get this sort of information, the more people to get helped. I think it's a, a real positive thing. See you next time. You've been listening to Make the Grade with the success doctor, Stephen Green. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe. For more resources and support, please visit makethegrade.net.